in to the online broadcast network. After Buzz TV, over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menounos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! <laughs> It's spicy in here. It's, it's very here. spicy. It really is hot in a good way. Yeah. Because we're talking about Jane the Virgin, Chapter 18. I'm so excited. We have a special guest in the house. She's got curls like me, too. Um, so I am one of your co-hosts, Madison Chase, your trainer to the stars and the star in you. And I'm a real live voice of virginity. Yeah, kind of. Because you're a real life virgin. Yes. I mean, I say kind of just because I'm tired of it. I'm, I'm ready to. <laughs> She's you don't, to not you don't be want one. to be the voice. <laughs> I don't want to be the voice. It's, I just happen to be the voice right now. Yeah. Okay. And my beautiful co host. Hello, everybody. It's your girl, Stephanie Georgie. Follow me on Twitter at Stephanie Georgie. And skipping on over here, I'm Giselle Ugardi, and last week we had you guys guessing who was going to be our special guest this week. <gasps> I actually said. I'll give you a hint. Let's just hope I don't like her or don't not like her okay. and want to slap her when I I'm here. I hate for you to like me. <laughs> <laughs> it's Rachel DePillow. The pillow. Hello, it's Andy. Oh, I like this applause. You That's like great. it? Yes. It's our studio That's audience right. here today. Yeah. We have a studio audience. And we're also going to give you like your own co-host name. So you're going to be Rachie D. I Ra- would prefer Rach that, D. actually. Rachel that's D. cool with you. Is, is that what you say? I usually ask people to call me that on set. Rachie D. Rachie D. Rachie D. Rachie yeah. D. I feel like Sick. you could do a rap or something. So like you're, you you're my sister from another mystery? No. Steffi G and Rachie D? <laughs> that's for sure. Excellent. Yeah, we love it. And we, I should probably say she's a really likable person and has a very sarcastic sense of humor. This is not so true. I'm like on it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely false. And you have great brows, too. I mean, I know this is off the subject. You know what? <laughs> Can I just you say that? Like, I send her compliments. Let's just stare at her for a second. Let's just, just, Let's just stare at you. Yeah, we're, we're going to look at you. Girl, we're really about your eyebrows right yes, now, though. they are is this awesome. Good for you? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right, Jane the Virgin is back. I am an okay. actress. Steffi G's back. Steffi I'm G. Back. I know. Yeah, I know. She's I missed back. all of you guys last week. I apologize. Yeah. Okay. We're, let's jump into this episode. Of course, we start with the flashback, and it's Easter. We just had Easter. Last so, we yeah. did just have Easter. So it's mm-hmm. like kind of like it's it's good. It's like right on time. So Jane is concerned about the the, the chocolate Easter eggs and Diamata, of course, because she's so superficial. She's concerned about how she looks. And of course. Wayla is telling her to button up her blouse. And so the flashback, she kind of has like a good angel. Mm-hmm. Kind of like a bad angel, even though the angel was kind of dressed like Jesus. The angel was like <laughs> it was her, sassy it was her Jesus. It was, it, it yeah. was a sassy Jesus. Who it was, was like it? A Jiminy Cricket. Someone said it was like the Hercules. It was. I did. it. Yeah. She oh, was like the music. The music girl. I yeah. love the music. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. They do exactly that. Good. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> I love really it. Good. I was one of them. I didn't wait for it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> a whole nother level of like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait. I feel like before we talk about. About this episode, we need to talk about Rachie D. We need to see what's going on with you. What you want to know? We oh, want to yeah. know. <laughs> what do we not want? We want know? after buzz. We want to know everything. We want to well, Everything I'll, is too much. Okay. I won't give you everything. <laughs> not everything. Just whatever you want to give us. So we want to know how did you get into acting? How did this wonderful opportunity to be a part of Jane the Virgin come about for you? Well, I've been acting for. A very long time. Um, I'm so old. Oh my gosh! No, I I, right. I um I grew up around theater a little bit, theater okay. and dance. My mom and my sister, who's older than me, did it. Um, and so I was watching things a lot earlier than I mm-hmm. began taking part in them. I did my first play when I was. 12. Wow. I was in choir and in like pre middle school choir. Mm-hmm. We were required to audition for the musical, and I wasn't really wanting to do the musical. It's just part of class. And then were you in LA? No, this okay. was in um, Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, oh nice. Wow, you up. so don't have an accent whatsoever. 
thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm confused. People right? say that a lot. I uh, I have northern family and I have southern family. Okay. My dad's northern, my mom's southern, so the household had mixed a say. mixed accent, ah, I guess. Okay. I got influences from both. Okay. Um, but anyway, like the uh, my choir director said, "Hey, I want you to be the lead in this show." <gasps> and it was just the two of us in the hall. I was late to class and he was late to class and he was like, "Oh, by the way, and I said, ah, oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> I was a little unsure, not really going for that, but like, hey, that'll be fun. And it's yeah. just kind of continued. Wow. <laughs> That's so awesome. Right. What prompted the move out here then? The move out here was for acting. Wow. By, you know, from sixth grade to 12th grade, we made a little more, uh, we made some more official moves, Probably. a little more decision making happen. My lovely manager, who's here with us tonight, hey. said, hey, get your butt out here. You can go to school too, <laughs> but just try this. And um, and I haven't stopped yet. You <laughs> haven't yeah. stopped. So what kind of dancing do you like to do? Oh, man. All kinds? Like, preferably really geeky dancing that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> okay, I could do that too. But if mm-hmm. I'm in a class, I'll try to, um, you know, apply myself to whatever's being taught. I did, like, mm. hip-hop. I did ballet, jazz, lyrical. Nice. What about tap? I love tap. Do you How really? did I forget tap? <laughs> tap was always my favorite. Really? I, got, I know my time steps. You, I love that's time all I could steps. Do. That's yeah, it. that's Flat it. ball change. Yeah. Buffalo. Yeah. How are you on, um, <laughs> do you know, what, do you know anything about salsa or merengue? Um, so, uh, was, huh? So, oh. <laughs> She's like, huh? Salsa or Clearly merengue? not. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, like mm. I could just wait. I might, I now no, after the accent changed. Merengue? Mer- salsa? Salsa Maringa? and merengue? <laughs> um, actually, actually, Gina Rodriguez is a salsa dancer. I know, I saw. I am also, I want to dance with her so bad. I just, you guys, I want to invite her to La Descarga and be like, come on, girl. You guys would be magical <laughs> together. Well, you would get, get along show, so well and you'd salsa up a firestorm and people would all fall in love. I kind of think she's my best friend, but we just don't know yet. I think we she could be. Her. I think she is. I think she's all of our best friends. So is Jane. Like, we love her, Gina. I know. Yeah, she's a very her. cool girl. Well, let's get to the show. So I know. What was, your, what was your audition like? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, <laughs> your, what's, what's your right. t- title? Is it guest star? Um, Co-star? Technically guest star, Large but a guest recurring star? guest star. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Large, Large super guest massive star. guest star. <laughs> Huge. Um, yeah, I auditioned actually while I was home for Christmas. So I was oh, in Tennessee wow. and hadn't made my way back out to California yet. Got the audition notice in an email, <laughs> and my mom helped me put it on tape in my bedroom did? that I grew up in. Oh, oh wow. nice! And I know she's the best. That sounds like the best mom. <laughs> she's cool. Um, she helped me put it on tape. We did like four takes of it. Had my good old green this kind of looks like my room a little bit the wall yeah. color's like that really nice. oh the gray color the gray color oh, wow. put on my laptop you know like i don't have a tripod mm-hmm. okay i'm getting lost on this really boring question i'm gonna no, no, you're not. Not. We, we take the audition mm-hmm. sent it in got a phone call they were like you're on hold and i said that's <gasps> awesome oh wow, hours that's later so you're booked nice wow it happened pretty quickly just good. on tape you know, that's easy that's like an actor's taste. dream right it's really nice because the I, exception of brett i feel like everyone's was quick right everyone said that they had a pretty good experience getting um mm-hmm. getting onto the show but yeah. that his was like awfully long right yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, also depends for, i mean for the cast i feel like the audition process is probably a lot longer mm-hmm. versus mm-hmm. if you're doing a co-star or a guest star but nice it's a little yeah they gotta turn us out quickly yeah. how was it when you <laughs> got to out. set when you so met true. everyone who was the first person you met the first person that I met, I don't even remember the first person that I met. I remember what it was like when I was there on my first day for working, mm-hmm. like doing scene work. And that was a scene with um, Jane and Ziomara. Mm-hmm. So I think the first person I met was Ziomara. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And then Andrea. Andrea. And she's amazing. No, no, I got it wrong. I met Gina first because we were in the makeup trailer together. Oh. And she walked right up to me and she shook my hand and said, hey, I'm Gina. So glad to have you. Can't wait oh, to work wow. with you. Welcome to the show. And oh, I was like, I love her. This is going to be a good time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. like, I love the coolest so welcome ever. It made me feel so comfortable. Yeah. yeah. And then you had to be this conniving, really mean person who stalks her on Facebook <laughs> and is like trying to get up on that Listen. ex-boyfriend. <gasps> Listen. And like, sorry. Someone had to say it. 
Uh oh. <laughs> she's misguided. I'm talking to Andy. I'm not talking to Rachel okay. right now, okay? Andy. Okay, we're talking to Andy. Yeah. <laughs> you were a little like, you were like kind of a, like, I'm not going to know if I'm going to like her when she comes on. Well, no, no, no. The because, character. Not well, you, yeah. Rachel D. I'm the, taking the this character. all personally. Okay, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, I know. See, that's why I'm like, she has sarcastic sense of humor. It's going to be fine. Okay, yeah. Because it was such a shocker. I was like, oh, she's so sweet. She's just like Jane. Of course. Bum, and I was bum, excited. Bum, bum, exactly. Bum. I was so excited. I was like, yes, we're going to get well, Michael. She's gonna leave in tweet and be like, oh my gosh, those bitches at After Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> We're asking the Sorry. worst questions. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. Okay. Great. No, we're happy to have you. We are so happy to have you. I really feel the love. Thanks, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, no love. Rachel, we're so happy yes, to have you. Just like in the show, everyone hates Andy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, so the first scene, I always love the fat flashback scenes because mm-hmm. I think it, it kind of sets the tone for what we see at the end. Like, mm-hmm. it's always like a... Um, it connects. It's a yeah, connection. Yeah, it's a connection absolutely. of some sort. Pattern. Yeah, a pattern. So with Diamata, Abuela, let's talk about Abuela and... Cheech. Edward? Yeah. And I was Cheech. like, I mean, I had to say the real name. No, no, I can't no, even see him as Edward. Yeah. yeah. So she goes to church and we could talk about that. So what did you think about him being on the show? I didn't think we were going to see him again. I mean, I was hoping that if Cheech was going to come back, that our friend Gabby was going to come back. Who is a physical therapist, but that's just, you know, again, taking the personal and the professional (laughs) to different levels here. But I love Cheech. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that we're seeing so many big faces on this show because, Mm -hmm. you know, they want to be a part of it. Absolutely. And the show show deserves it. Exactly. You know, we had Rita Moreno on tonight, Mm -hmm. who is an icon, especially Mm -hmm. in the Latino community. And so I love it. Yeah. The fact that he's a priest. I mean, what, what do they call it? Re- rehab love? Re- rehabilitation love. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I right, because you're getting healed together. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, though. I wasn't. I totally was not expecting it at all. For their all. love to blossom? Yeah. Of course. It's cheat. It's no, I'm life. saying, like, for him to be a priest. Like, oh, for that that's, yeah. that's really sad. Well, question is, what's going to happen next episode? Because he said yes, yes. to the date. I know. But that's what I said. Maybe he's not a priest. Is that No, but you know thing? what, Those I feel like a lot of priests, be, being how they are, are very naive. I think it, it could easily have been like he was just extending friendship and, you know, mm. won't, won't, won't take cross a, a certain line and just thought like, uh, or maybe yeah, he's just, he's just a terrible priest. I mean, I guess everyone loves to go straight there, but I I don't know. Let's let's not judge a book by Do we know for sure that he's a Catholic priest? That's what I was going right. to say. Because mm-hmm. I have a if he's friend. like a pastor or something, then it that yeah. doesn't matter. Or like Episcopalian, it's totally fine. Mm-hmm. I totally agree. I think true. that's going to be the twist. I totally think Hopefully. that's what's happening. Or he's just not interested in her romantically. Yeah. Yeah, that's Anything possible. is possible. Yeah. Poor Abuela, she deserves love. I know she does. I want her to get some But if sugar. anything... If it doesn't work out, it's mm-hmm. at least proof for her that she can feel mm-hmm. that way about someone again. Yes, she deserves Even it. Even though knowing her, she's going to be like, man, I told you guys I'm over this, not doing it again, ever. Do we but, know uh, Abuela's backstory at this point? Yes. What was what was her previous love? Her, she was with her husband, and he did everything that they could to get them to the United States. Mm-hmm. And then that's how she got there, because she wanted to be there, and then he passed away, and she just felt like she devoted like his life. Like, that was it for her. She was good. Man. Like he devoted his the life to that, get yeah. her. Life. So she just, yeah. she just that felt is like so sad. Mm-hmm. Isn't it sad? That's why she needs to love. And that's why her life is Siomara and Jane. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's true. I really love. I get. I, I'm so jealous that all of Abuela's scenes are in Spanish. <laughs> You're that's jealous. That's so odd. Well, because it was. I've always wanted to do like an English show, but where I could still like where it was Amer- like Americans watching it, but still speaking in Spanish. So that's really great that they're able to utilize like to do, do that. both. Yeah. Well, and what I love is that I feel like it, it is reflecting the modern Latino family. Absolutely. Where, where one you know, speaks Spanish, the other speaks English. Yeah. That's why mm. I grew up. Or sometimes you know the the kids they don't even speak Spanish, but they understand it, mm-hmm. and they have that kind of. The balance. Mm-hmm. That's kind yeah. of like you, right? Did they, oh wait, but do your parents speak Spanish? Not to me, but they do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, because I grew up where they spoke to Spanish to us, and we only spoke to them in English, and then I didn't learn until I was fifteen. And but then that's when I started speaking it. But it was the exact same thing. I had my grandparents and my aunts and my great aunts speaking it to me like mm-hmm. all the time, and then I was oh, wow. hearing my mom talking to them right. in Spanish. No, that's absolutely. But then I, the I was kind of somewhere in the middle. That's nice. great. You're yeah. speaking Spanglish? Spanglish. Well, I do. I am fluent in Spanglish. She didn't know she was Latina yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, 
that's the wait, joke. What? I didn't know I was Latina until I moved to LA. <laughs> I was like, where? Like, where? Where? She's in like, Minnesota. 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 Yeah. <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah. I was I like, am what? Like, I'm <laughs> brown? No way. <laughs> you had no idea. I had no that. idea. Yeah. Like, so yeah. let's talk about Rogelio's mom. Oh, la suegra. Okay, I can't even say the mother in law. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But in, in the Latino culture, it just cracks me up because she's the epitome of what a suegra is, which is like the saying is que se metan en todo. So that's they get involved in everything. everything. Ah. And what's the saying that you don't just marry the husband, you marry the you family? Marry the mother, yeah. Really? No, you, well, la the suegra, yeah. You, yeah, the mother in law. So that was funny for her to come in and just be the way that she was and just, oh. Let but me you tell can you exactly see what's gonna that Rogelio was kind of like playing into that. Like he was so used to, like he didn't want to disappoint her. Like he wanted He's to be the good He's a good Catholic good boy. They mm-hmm. really, is that what it is? Yes, they okay. they um they played all the parts correct in the show. Like they're they're apply, they're doing everything so that it's. How it, how it it's really true to is. Life. It's true to life. Thank you. Sorry. I wish that there would have been some parallel because, so if you don't know who she is, she played Maria in the original West Side Story. She's like a total icon. That's for who those, that is? That's who that is. She like oh was recognized God. last year. At the No, was it? Sister. She, she was. She, Bert, she was. Oh, um, sister. Um, oh, the, um, the, I feel pretty. Anita. Anita. Yeah, Anita, Anita, Anita. Anita. Thank you. Anita. She and, was Anita. Yeah, she was Anita. She was recognized at the awesome. Academy Awards last year for having the Lifetime Achievement Award. Oh, wow. And so what I would have loved is if her character would have had, like, a parallel with that. Like, if, if his mom would have been this big oh, icon, too, or something. That would I mean, be like, an you know, homage to that. Yeah. That would have been yeah. awesome. She definitely had her, what do they call her, Glamma? Glamma. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and you know what? Nene leaks from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Like, that's what she calls herself, a glamma. So that's obviously, like, it's a, a new term that people, like, I kind of like that. Yeah, I'm going to call cute. my mom that. Glamma. Well, my mom wants that, and I told her absolutely not. She's like, I'm mm-hmm. glamma or glad mom. I'm like, no. Glad mom? No. No, glamma's cool. Get her a shirt. I'm going to get my mom one. <laughs> So she can rock it with but my nephew. But you have to have the baby, though. No, she got one. She, my, my, uh, my sister's got a baby. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Sister taking care of it. She got to take care of it. Wait a minute. We're, We're good. good. We're good for now. Yeah. Okay, so I thought... It's if, cool, though. Your eggs are still fresh, so like... <laughs> no. That part was good. Wait, 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 what can we do? You can buy, we can buy some, some more. more. We can buy some more. Whatever. Because your eggs combined with... Or no. <laughs> that would be backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I just love what he said about that. Yes. That was the best. What did he yeah. say? My it, jeans or my sperm combined with anybody anything, will yeah. be amazing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. I love him. I love how he plays. Like, he's so arrogant, but you still love him. Because he's so, like, oblivious to how mm-hmm. cocky he's he really Joey. is. He's Joey. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> oh, from friends. He just doesn't get it. He's oh, my so you love him. And it's all got innocent. Body. He's got and it, great hair and it too. goes back to what Anthony uh, Mendez said, the the voice of the narrator, how they don't compromise the characters, and it's just it, it keeps growing, but it mm-hmm. stays just there. So I love that because you're you're getting to know more of him with, but still being that person, mm-hmm. even when his mother came around. But you saw that why he's that person. Yeah. So. That's funny. Yeah. And the fact that he lied to his mom and he was willing to let Zia Mater like go down with the ship. I was like, no, tell your mom. So low. Yeah. It was great that he turned around though. Finally. I wasn't expecting that. Mm -hmm. At the end though. Mm -hmm. Like she was getting, like Zia Mater was about to leave. And so finally he was like, no. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it took a minute. Like, well, I, and let's talk about that part then. Cause you know, he said he never wanted to disappoint his mother. Mm-hmm. So his whole thing was that when Siomara was pregnant, he acted like he had no idea. Mm-hmm. When in fact, he told her to get rid of it. Yes. Smishmortion. Smishmortion? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not I like that. That joke. was cool. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. So that we don't actually, the, the word that should not be said or the name that should, we do not talk about. What is the thing for Harry Potter? What? Oh, like Voldemort? Yeah. Oh. He who must not be named. Adam. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. No, but it, there's a movie where. <laughs> okay. It. <laughs> I like Smish Martian better. I know. Smish Martian. <laughs> no, there's a word. There's a there's a movie. I forget what movie it's from. Oh, it's I took like, it somewhere else. My bad, girl. Oh, I messed that yeah, all up no, for you. So Smish Martian. <laughs> um. Anyway, so yeah, so so he lied about that, and he talks about his mom as such a forgiving person, and that chances are he'll be, she'll be able to mend things with Siomara, and she talks about how you know she prides herself on being that kind of a person, but because she hid the pregnancy and took away the chance for her to raise her granddaughter or mm-hmm. meet her granddaughter, that was unforgivable. Mm-hmm. Right. That's a big thing to take away. 
That yeah. is, that would be hard to get over. Well, it's just crazy though too because you'd be surprised because I'm sure that at the time, let's let's say Xiomara decided not to tell Rogelio. With reason, why? Because she came from a Latino family. What is the, you Yay. as a Latino girl, I mean, I would be scared ishless if that happened and yeah you wouldn't want to say anything so it's just kind of weird because at the end of the day that's why you always should kind of um come forth honesty is the best policy because you don't know how someone's mm -hmm. actually going to react but also keep in mind though you know i think for our generation if you get pregnant it's a little bit more not i don't want to say acceptable, acceptable. but kind mm -hmm. of it's not it as is. taboo whereas yeah. if we're you know rewinding 25 years yeah, that that's is true. the kind of thing where you your mom would anything. maybe make you go off to boarding school right. or go live with your grandma mm -hmm. while you go have this baby or give up this baby so that no one else knows. Mm -hmm. That's a good point, Giselle. Yeah. And they didn't have social media, so exactly. you didn't have to show your you growing bum on Facebook. You didn't have to do Facebook. anything, yeah. exactly. That's true, and you didn't have the show on MTV called, what is it? <laughs> 16 mom, 16 pregnant. pregnant, all of those shows, so yeah, all you're right. All types of proud. Mm -hmm. Totally different environment when you're talking about being a young mom um so let's talk about jane and andy who <laughs> <laughs> but you know, yeah. that, that girl that girl, that that girl. girl. <laughs> she's the nice shmandy I had, I had so much hopes <laughs> yeah. for her she's I, know. I know you made me so sad when you talk because it's true I know. you think she's gonna be one thing and then she's she was not. yeah Dang it. And Jane fooled. starts opening up this episode. I know. That like was she the... really bends. Like, they're definitely getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. And she talks to Andy about how she's afraid of having the baby. and not, But now she's like, Andy's she's getting just personal. like eating it. Oh, could uh, you imagine oh, yeah. being that? Like, I'm not going to lie. I was probably a psycho at one point in my life. And I could only imagine <laughs> Keep your just enemies having, closer. <laughs> but you're, oh, no, no. Keep, Keep your, your friends, friends close, closer, but your enemies yeah. close. Yeah. But I could imagine just hearing all of this, like being so happy, like, yes, tell me more. Tell me <laughs> tell everything. Me. <laughs> oh my god. Right? I would be I would be sweating bullets. I don't I think my like the stench that they get from across the table for me would give myself away. I don't think I could pull <laughs> off yeah. that conniving stuff. But for me with Andy, I and I don't know if this doesn't make any sense, but I kind of made the choice that she's just like, she's just kind of got herself tangled. Absolutely. It's like she, she, seemed, she, she seemed from the writing that she was like a nice person. Yeah. She's just a little naive, got a little too swept up, and is now finding herself in a predicament that she doesn't know how to get out of. Right. So in that case, would you say she's doing it out of like insecurity? Well, now she's totally afraid. Okay. Because so she's, she's afraid. Stuck. She's not being like conniving and awful well i don't well know. because like, her intentions will be taken the wrong way already now well so. that's what i'm wondering already, too is like yeah. what what are her intentions, intentions. Hmm. like I mean, how it could easily just be to be nosy I think especially if she was in love like yeah. if she was I heartbreaking think, it's that's just someone who damn you're still not over it yeah but the I, thing is though is like our and this is us over analyzing you know if you've never this watched the show this is, us this is what women so do go, we analyze. we're gonna go into all these we're gonna tangle ourselves up in this mess and yeah. ask you questions that you might not even have the answers to but we're just gonna <laughs> do it anyway way, I'll do my best. you can try to guess or you can tell us whatever but so is this the kind of thing where initially it was a research thing and she wanted to see who this jane girl was in person and then she got caught up in it and wanted to learn more so that she get to Michael or does she maybe actually like Jane and is like oh shoot like I kind of like mm. her or is she like <laughs> okay wait hold that yeah. thought go ahead okay go ahead are you finished no I don't know I got lost in my thought anyway yeah. so I have an or or she found out that they broke up that's what I think and she just wanted to swoop in no but she and knew that they broke up anyway from Facebook. From Facebook, well, yeah, that's she point. didn't know that. And yeah. so then she found out, and then they stayed broken up, and then she probably found out that she that Jane was pregnant, not with Michael's baby, and then she's like, okay. Hmm. But that's what I'm wondering. So what was the so, what was the intention of meeting Jane, though? Period. May that's, I? That's women. Yes, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yes. sorry. <laughs> what did you say? We're like, yeah, let's, let's hear from the, the horses oh, now. Yeah, yeah. So if you remember from What's last she's... episode, or I guess mm -hmm. it's the episode before last at this point, you meet her at the writers group. Yes. Right. Yes. I made the choice because it was it was a blank mm -hmm. that Andy just happened to be at the right place or the wrong place at the right or wrong time. Mm -hmm. Saw Jane go in. She's been seeing her on social media for all this time. She knows it's an ex now. Curiosity got the best of her. Followed uh. her in. 
Also, maybe she likes writing. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but regardless, sh the seat next to Jane happened to be open. She sat there. And then, of course, Jane's the coolest. She's Who nice. wouldn't love Jane? Yeah. And then yeah, how did they get shoot. twisted up together? The babysitting. The babysitting. Yeah. That, that is creepy. Yeah. It's totally <laughs> creepy. But at the same time, like, you're sitting there. How do you pull? How do you pull out? Yeah. Right. And also, she's <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> ah, hard. No pun intended. No pun intended. We're <laughs> babysitting. It's too late. And also, show you don't pull out. Also, <laughs> well, I was going to say sweet irony because there was no pulling out That's even necessary. <laughs> so, but so, but the thing is, though, is like, during the babysitting thing, <laughs> I'll just okay. You have five seconds. I mean, five <laughs> that was funny. That was really good. <laughs> that was a good it was one. Was served up on a silver platter. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't not. <laughs> just you couldn't. try to talk, and she literally just let us right, laugh right now. Yeah, no, you. I was like, go ahead, it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> just, thanks, thanks. I'm thanks. not. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the but yeah, like you said, it was so creepy with the babysitting because she's sitting there on Michael's Facebook oh, page. God. It's so good. like it's so Jane's wrong. right there. I don't think he's deleted the photo yet or her on Facebook like she and you know? and it was creepy too because she was Jane was telling Andy what to text Michael yeah it's so twisted it, that part was twisted it is so I was like, twisted. Oh, no. she's got a screw loose yeah she's got a screw loose whether that's a naive screw or a little like no turn of the screw screw is it a competitive I thing see, no mm. I can see because I've been in that position too a little bit no, kind of dude, I know oh, oh, I know well, it's bad give us but I remember answers. I remember one time it's so bad it's so bad Every, I feel like everyone goes through an insecure phase at some point do you think one that and like, people just do it differently but I do recall a moment, a moment, a moment in my life. Not very proud of it. Where a good friend of mine and I, we both kind of liked the same guy, and rather than uh -oh. you know just kind of seeing who he was interested in and not realizing so naively that he was playing both of us, Ooh. it was more of like a competitive thing where I feel like I was kind of seeing like, are they really just friends? Are they not just friends? Is he texting her? Is he not? So then I would be texting him like while I was with her wow. to just kind of see. I don't know. That's okay. interesting. I don't deal with those kinds of boys anymore. But and you I'm said the saying, right word. You said boys. Exactly. Yeah, because men. And that right. was yeah. intended. Yeah. I think that you. I had. I. I never. I don't think I was ever competitive with anybody, because I. I always felt like kind of bad about that stuff. But I. What I would do because I'm. I guess you could say I'm a lover. I could maybe see that, you being heartbroken in a different place might actually want to be like her friend and you might find something in common with her because Michael liked her and then you guys have that uh. in common so it's more like well let's be friends and it, it, it's like a uh, maybe, like you said like a little a little bit of a loose screw and, and she's just like no I, I kind of want to be around her and so she grows this own like little obsession towards this girl because she was so great and she's that's why Michael probably left you or whatever the also, reason is also it's the next best thing and to have yeah. Michael yes Maybe, I would love yeah, that it's, it's the ne that's what you see and I'm the weirdo I wouldn't probably think like that like, <laughs> no that's no just, I mean, that's we thing, all though. I was, we were saying last week that my mom's maid of honor in her wedding was a girl who her boyfriend had cheated on with. Um, okay, and wait, say that again. Her ex-boyfriend, so not my dad. So my mom's maid of honor in her wedding okay. was a girl who she met because she caught her ex-boyfriend cheating on her. Oh my with God. Her, with her. And they or he was friends? two timing them or something. I don't and know if they, she necessarily caught yeah. him cheating. Um, going steady, you know, back in those days. And they ended up becoming best friend and of course never speaking to that guy again. Mm -hmm. So I can see how you can bond over, you know, being stupid and thinking this guy is all that and then realizing you're smarter and better than that and he's not that cool. Right. So what I find wrong with that, though, is that it, there's more to it than that because she's pursuing him again. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's where there's a problem. And it's like, how can you build a friendship off of that if you're yeah. clearly you can't, there's keeping gotta be secrets? An end point. Yeah. yeah. I and mean, there's got to be the truth. Like, the fact that... Like, why Andy does she knows. want Michael back? Yeah, why does she... I could see possibly why she would want Michael back. Like, if it didn't end badly, like, I totally... Yeah, because he's so dreamy. Yeah, he is dreamy. I mean, yeah. And he's funny, too. That date sweater was fine. It was cute. Yeah, it was nice. It was really nice. But I could see why... <laughs> I could see why she would want him back. Especially if you have nothing against Jane. Yes. Because my, my biggest thing is that I would... With the exception of her knowing what she knows, which is almost always the case for like the, the types of situations that the female does, but I could see her, I could see you being the more of the reason 
like more angry towards Jane had she done something bad or that's more reason for you not to go back with Michael but you can't even be mad at her so it's like she's great like why wouldn't he have like I see what they would have had but if that didn't work out then maybe we were supposed to be together mm -hmm. maybe that's the reason why like everything happens for a reason you know you always hear these stories like yeah we were together and then you would have never thought it and four years went by so much happened in between and then we just got back together like do we know why they broke up you're a writer so she's already you're a fantasizer you know mm -hmm. are you saying andy do and we, michael yeah, do we know why andy and michael broke up they don't say okay i think andy left her for jane or, right, I mean, I, mean jo I think <laughs> that'd be <laughs> now something. That. <laughs> That'll be a telenovela. <laughs> and in the next episode, Jane has a dream about Andy. <laughs> right? I think Michael left Andy for Jane. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have a thing. I don't think I can say it. Oh, okay, don't say there it. There was a, there was audition material <laughs> that uh -oh. was a different reason. Oh, but I don't. I no, Man, don't try had it. You, had you not dropped the audition material part, you could have said, you could have pulled it off as your prediction. No. Shoot. No, you can't. We need her to stay on the show. <laughs> so Madison always takes care of all of our guests. Yeah. Yes, I want you to keep your Thank job. You. I'm biting um, my knuckles, but I'm not talking. <laughs> I want to know. I want to say it so bad. No, you can tell us. No, you can't even tell us Off later. Because we don't You can know. try to sneak it in no. in a weird way without us knowing. Schmandy. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I got no. Yeah, no, I totally think that that could be Andy and Michael. Like, you have a soft spot for him, especially if he didn't do anything bad. She's got mm -hmm. a soft spot. Yeah, <laughs> Giselle, what? you're so naughty. She's so inappropriate. My, yeah. not, Michael's not a virgin, which is so weird because I feel like He's, I'm very. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh yeah, <gasps> I didn't even think about that because they were getting it in, and Jane and Michael didn't. Pr presumably, mm, presumably, I would think that. Okay, because I maybe thought, Michael has a thing for virgins. And he just has the side chicks who he, you know. This is possible. Because I always think that. I'm like, could you really date a guy? And then if we he's already done it before, <laughs> would he? I'm trying to, I I'm yeah, trying to make Andy seem like she's not easy. You know what? No, Andy's, would... Andy's evil. No, I don't and think she you're evil. It's really easy. It's no. realistic. She's she part onion. of the rest of the world. Jane is the one in a million that we love and adore. And adore. And I, but <laughs> I you. also think when I saw Andy, I was like, oh, I get it. Like, she's probably a virgin, too. I felt like that. Because uh, you have, like, <laughs> it's the curls. The curls. <laughs> Curls are virginal. They're virginal. It's scientifically <laughs> proven. Look, 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 look at that. So I There's just so feel like you that I can say right now that are so inappropriate, and I'm just gonna like. You gotta keep it, keep it in. Yeah, who? Keep what it age in. range are we are we aiming at right now? For you, oh, call Jane old? the Virgin. Jane the Virgin. Okay. Okay. What, but what's next? That. Yeah, okay, let's okay, let's let's move on. I'm sorry. We just got all twisted Sip around. Sip of the mug. Right. Yeah, no, it's getting hot in here. I know it is getting I'm hot. Wearing, I'm wearing the fake leather jacket. Sorry, it's LA. The vegan leather jacket. That's but good. is it vegan? Is it's it plastic? It's so it counts. for you. Okay, for no, you. it's not intentional. It's just cheap. And it's cute. Okay. I'll wear the real leather jacket. I don't care. Okay. That's good. <laughs> we like your fashions, Giselle. <laughs> okay, okay, so let's get to Jane and Raphael. Raphael. And we got to talk about Petra and Aaron, Aaron Roman. Roman, whoever he is. I like had an Roman. idea that that was going to be the situation. That, that is that a Roman, good twist, like, though. That totally makes sense. That it could have been his brother, because if his brother was that good of a person he would have come to his brother's defense yes, and or and then, if he thought his brother was in his trouble his brother got killed awesome. i need to give a shout Way to get out Aaron get killed. to your phone is on okay i know i need to give a shout out to diana hansen because she did call that back in february did she what did she say she did uh that Aaron is actually roman yeah yeah back in that february totally makes sense she's on back top in of it i know our our fans are super they are super duper mm -hmm. go girl yeah. Okay, so we'll give more shout outs later, but I just wanted to point that one out. Jane, I like your phone, by the way. Is that a bat phone? Thanks. It's a, it's it's a, a panda. panda. It's a panda. That's, that's her dog's name. Yeah. Okay, we're getting off stuff. I have a panda name. No, I'm just <laughs> sitting here literally thinking about the show right now, and it cracks me up because I'm like looking at you, so it's tripping me out a little bit because I'm like, hmm. Yes. <laughs> What's making your wheels that's turn? That's what I'm kind of. <laughs> okay, I'm so we can, let's, 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 let's pause on that. So let's go ahead and, and get to your thought, and then we'll get back to Jane and Roth. So. No, what? no, nothing. I mean, that was just... You don't want to share? No, no, I was just saying, like, that That was part of it, but were we going to start with Jane and Raph, or are we going to start with Petra and Roman? Doesn't matter. Well, okay, Jane and Raph, I'm... 
I'm happy to see this side of Raph, like because I always say that you know arguing and stuff like this, it's a means of getting to know each other, yep, and it, it happened too, too mm-hmm. quickly. So they need to be somewhat, their relationship <clears throat> happened too quickly, or the every, argument, yeah. everything, everything happened too yeah. quickly, yeah. and so they needed something real to test it. Um, I mean that broke my. It just sucks to see like all of this happening and just like what what goes through a woman's mind and and why we overthink things. Absolutely. And I I just thought it was way or. Am I going ahead? Well, I just want to bring up the part no, where she talks talk to about Abuela and, yeah. and so when they say, um, okay, banishment, what is it? Faith is the banishment of doubt, mm-hmm. right? So I love that part because I think it's very true, especially because my mother used to always say, be careful what you look for because you're going to mm. find it. And then even so, Zoe just said, she's like, you know, whatever you're going to put, like an, uh, whatever glass magnifying on, glass. A magnifying glass on it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. And I remember the going through, lie. I'm going through the same situation and I'm talking to someone and they're like, well, it's kind of like you're doing like a, like a very simple multiplication problem, but you have someone over your shoulder and for some reason you do it wrong when you know what the answer is. Yeah. So it's it's one of those things where when Jane is constantly putting the pressure on him, he's she's setting he's him up crumbling. or manifesting it to be something bad. He's sabotaging it. She's sabotaging it for herself. Yeah. And so for him. Gets, and for him. So it gets really frustrating because that's when faith comes into play when you really just have to trust it. And the one advice that I ever got was that if you have any doubt in anything, trust that whatever is happening will eventually rise to the surface Mm -hmm. so don't look for it then let it like you know genuinely let it happen and you can cross that Mm -hmm. bridge when it gets there Mm -hmm. i think i can you know last week i was kind of skeptical about the whole thing i was even switching over to team michael which was pretty big for me (laughs) i know i I don't know if i was switching over but i wasn't totally on team i was having i was having doubt Mm -hmm. and i think i had to step back for a moment because i feel like You know, I'm kind of going through a similar thing in my relationship where, you know, we're both going through some really kind of in the last couple months, some hard moments in our individual lives. Mm -hmm. And so it's hard for us to be completely present in our relationship. Mm -hmm. With Raph, it's like he lost his father. Mm -hmm. His job is crumbling. His ex-wife is now his boss. He's getting divorced. You know, he's having a baby. He's he's doing all these different things. And And he likes his mom. Yeah, he's now meeting his mom. It's all these different things. And when you're going through that, it's kind of hard to to be Present. what he was before, which yeah. was like the the guy who was doing all the right things and yeah. saying all the right things and being completely conscious and like present in every single decision mm-hmm. and I think that Jane is also on top of that, rather than being super supportive, she's being supportive with a wall up she's suffocating right now and she's suffocating him and herself and it's kind of a sabotaging thing but at the same time jane's also going through a lot too i was gonna say and these are the types of situations in relationships where it's the make or break either this makes you stronger or it pulls you apart that's true. And we see Raph putting his walls up too. Someone mentioned on YouTube that we didn't mention the fact that Raph's been drinking yes. a lot. And now we see him this time. Like he goes straight and like Pour pours himself alcohol. a stiff drink. And all of a sudden he he's just this he different turns person. He into a different yeah. person like his sister. Um, well, I don't know if he's an alcoholic, but... No, but I'm no, saying but, yeah, yeah, like the, that. The multiple personality situation yeah. going on. I agree with that. Also, I think what sucks is that it, his mother is the first woman of his life. So for you to have any doubts there, that's that's like the basis of your belief system, the basis yep. of what you're going to think of and how you're going to feel. And how you think about love, too. Right, love, exactly. So now he's, just, now he's just lost within that situation, mm-hmm. so that sucks. But what I like about Jane kind of messing up in this is that it's making her more human, not this perfect virgin. It's yes. you know, Which kind of sucks because really women should be kind of on top of these things like that. But at the end of the day, a man is a man. Like We also have to remember that we don't understand that side either and that sometimes we are doing too much. So... It just sucks to to see him go through this, but then everyone's like, "Oh, well, f you, Raph. I'm going to Team Michael mm-hmm. now." But it's like, no, I'm I'm being perfectly yeah. normal. It's not my fault. Like, let me just deal with this. And I and also I- think that Jane's going through that uh, that that thing in her life. I saw someone post this on Facebook. Fellow after buzzer, uh, Jesse posted this, and it was one of the most difficult decisions you will ever face in your life is whether to try harder or to walk away. Yep, mm, I saw that today that's also. A good one. Yeah. Uh, DJ Jesse, yeah. Jesse oh, Janity. Jesse yeah. Janity. Oh, yeah. he's dope. But I also think, too, when you're looking at 
what women out often want and then when it actually happens like you want a guy that's successful you want a guy that could be a provider but even when we see him meeting uh, mr and mrs falco like she gets a glimpse of is this going to be my reality and my the future lifestyle. later when someone is so super successful and they're so concerned about work all the time where does the family fall in mm -hmm. that? And I think too, her being hormonal and she's pregnant, like that's a whole other thing to contend with. And, and she's, she's Latina, so <laughs> crazy. <laughs> right, she's not crazy, she's okay. just emotional. I know. Yeah, and passionate. So I think because of all of that emotion, she really doesn't have anybody to talk to because mm. she kind of doesn't want to talk to her mom. So she talks to Andy. So she talks to Andy, <laughs> right? which is probably not But it works though, because Andy knows. she's Andy's only able to communicate with her because she's mm -hmm. been in that somewhat situation and because she knows her yeah you know and A people like to say that creepy. that that jane the virgin pardon She's very creepy. creepy. Yeah, yeah. it's a little creepy. Well, whatever, it's all right. <laughs> Thanks. I'm, Andy. I'm not giving Again, up on Jessica. Andy. <laughs> Thank you. Shmandy. Oh my God, your dryness <laughs> is unbelievable. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> is it? Yeah. I was going to say, thank you. So, oh, people, you know who you remind me of? No, uh -oh. I don't. Uh oh. <laughs> You this is like my favorite show, back. Felicity. <gasps> no, I love she that doesn't. show. It's no, but I'm saying maybe it's the curls it's the and curls. the innocence. Oh, Has I anyone ever show. told you to get rid of the curls? No. I'm just saying in Hollywood, I don't know. Really? Yeah. No, I'm not saying that you that. should. I'm not saying that you should. Yes. I'm talking oh, well, about. for a character. That's yeah. different. Okay. Somebody told to you. Make, to make me look more like uh, um, um, uh, the person. Like white. But that's why they probably look a little bit mixed race, a little bit, right? Well, no, yeah, but Diana's, right? you, uh, they're they're usually oh. have curly hair and stuff. So I'm just saying, or or you say, or like Jewish girls, you know, like so. I've played a lot of different races. You so are far. like ethnically been, ambiguous. Yeah, happy yeah. with that. I've only had to straighten my hair for one job, and that was because it would help me look more like the woman who was playing my mother. Oh, um, I gotcha. Okay. So. And I only asked that not because I think that you should, but only because you know in Hollywood you have those standards that different people try to meet and you know skinnier be fat I, be curly I feel hair, like we have hair. so many different standards exactly. these days maybe a little while ago it was more like you needed to fit into the certain box I agree. well i think it's just but an idea but now it's do you people boo -boo. I think like it always you, has which is fantastic. Been. Yeah. If you look like everyone else, you're not going to make it. The, pe the icons are the ones that look different and have a unique look. That's so, so true. And I think with like hair and makeup, like that's what they're for. Like, mm -hmm. you know, get a wig or a weave or something and, and call it a day. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's what I think. Let me go back to what I was about to say, though. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Let's get, back, <laughs> let's get back to the show. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say that people like What's to say that, or today someone described. Um, I was mentioning how I was doing Jane the Virgin later this evening, and she said, oh, yeah, it's it's a really good show. It's like a really melodramatic. People keep saying about how exaggerated it is. Really? I'm Can so I just say that it cracks me up because everything that happens in the show is so real. Yes. And not even, not even like, the only exaggeration in the show is the fact that they're, like, letting us know what the text messages are saying or doing yes. stuff like that. But at the same time... And the now, fact that she's accidentally artificially inseminated. But, but that's, no, but that's the only part of the <laughs> yeah. entire show that's an exaggeration. Yeah. And, and I don't even think that's I've an seen, exaggeration. Because I could see how that could totally no, that would happen. Never happen. That would you never happen. That would never happen. happen. I'm sure that's happened. If we look I'm that up, sure it's got it has happened. one case. At least one, one case. Maybe, We're going to do maybe, some research. Maybe, one but, but like but horrible that probably but was terminated so that kind of sucks what Say i that said that it probably was one case but that was probably terminated you never so know well, and maybe her name was jane and she had an abuela yeah. and a ziomara <laughs> you <laughs> never Helio. know and it yeah. probably wasn't a virgin yeah oh, you never I mean, know that, that part right now that part or maybe is... would have had to have been a virgin because it's like you know what a uh, what's that called? Pap smear. Feels like. Yeah. Once you've had But one. because she was sleeping and she was really tired. That's why I'm saying it's so unlikely. Lots yeah. of okay. factors. Crazier I mean, things have happened. Anyway, let's go back to yeah, the yeah, what, what are you trying to get to again? again? Thank you. I was like, <laughs> so sorry. I'm sorry. I feel like other shows, though, are starting to mimic some of the things that Jane the Virgin is doing. And it's cracking me up. because like, like, what, a Latin you? lover narrator? No. Well, the, the, that would be, I would be so mad if someone did that, though. Okay. No, but just like. they cast you. The texting. Well. <laughs> but she was like texting. Like you see the texting in House of Cards. You do. Oh, that yeah. started right. in twenty. Did it ten? Okay, so I'm just trying to rap a little bit harder. But 
You know, but you we know, haven't seen that because Halo. I've already. Halo. You know what? No, no, no. <laughs> Stephanie, no, I don't know. I'm totally on your level. So many shows are copying exactly what Jane the Virgin is doing because it's so awesome. I just can't give you specific that examples. Wasn't, that it's wasn't really good. even what I was going to try to say. Oh, oh man. That's why I'm so Finish. sorry. So why don't we no, go in? No, I forgot, girl. Are you sure? Okay, let's go. Okay. okay well, let's keep going on the show. If you remember, just write it down and then, you know, just flag. Okay. Yeah. It's um, so, good. so let's talk Steffi about. G. I do. Okay, I love you, Steffi G. And and Rachie D. We got a new new couple. She'll me? have to come back. Just I I couldn't really take okay, up something. Keep going. That's okay. Just, right. Gizetti, G. Just Gizetti, plain G. G G G. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Roman and Petra. Roman and no, Petra. No, no, no. We're still talking about Jane and Rob. Oh, okay. Well, we got off of that subject for a minute. <laughs> no. Okay. Can I just say that last scene? What last scene? The She's crying. So that is the saddest. <sighs> Did you see me cry? When she cries, the whole world cries. Oh my god! When you cry, I cry. Yeah. Oh, oh, so oh, sad. Oh, oh. And it's a, it's a shame because he's just like there are so many things happening At in the their characters' time. lives. Anyone would crack under that pressure, and you make a split second decision while you've had a long day and alcohol, and it's like. Boom. Boom. But I those words cannot be unsaid. That's no, it, except they can they if can. you say the opposite of them soon thereafter. Yes. Right. Well, and or you not said even the that. right thing soon thereafter. Like you, soon. You can't like wait. You have a to week. jump back on yeah. it. I don't know. Michael tried. It didn't work. Uh, kind of. I just, but he also lied. He lied a lot. True. Yeah. So that that's the difference. But I also think too, like this is very like modern day with someone being busy and like the and mommy issues and mommy issues and the fact that she kind of feels like a single mom and I have a friend and she's married to um, a basketball player I'm like I never thought about you have all of this money but then you don't have the person that helped you have these kids and mm-hmm. so you're almost like a single mom which, everyone has their struggles yeah and I'm like I never would have thought that that was like a struggle so I think Jane is kind of realizing that in the Lamaze class when he oh and then she said uh, later in the scene she was like oh you could choose when to turn your phone oh, yes, off exactly. and on and I'm like that is so like 2015 mm-hmm. when you're thinking about someone's job and, and the priorities that you set like mm-hmm. you set that foundation early on in your relationship yeah. so I think they just really need to have a heart to heart conversation and he and both of them really need to be honest about what they're going through because he really didn't he let her in a little bit with his mom and then he's also thinking we're totally from two different worlds and this yeah. will never work. And But the thing that he liked about her was that they were from two totally different mm-hmm. worlds. Yeah. That she liked shopping at Target. That she liked all of that stuff that he probably doesn't know yeah. about. Like Paris Hilton not knowing about Walmart. So I think... Wait, we, she didn't know about Walmart? That's what Allegedly. She, it's <laughs> what she said. You have to be sure, smart Paris. to be that stupid. Sure. But I, I think too, yeah. kind of going back to where we see Jane and she's not perfect portrayed as this perfect person you know because in last episode she Mm -hmm. always ends up working things out even tonight when she went with what's her face to that party and she did all the research and was impressing everyone the falco but i think also too this is um a wake-up call for her because jane is that perfectionist who has been looking for those reasons to doubt him and she has Mm. that list that's what it is that really unhealthy list that girls have of i want a guy who does this and i want him to do Mm -hmm. this and he has to be perfect and he has to do this and he has to do this and that's just it's not suffocating realistic. Again. That's it's not realistic, yeah. and it's it's going to set you up for failure. Absolutely. But do you it's think on the other side of that that men have that list too? I when it comes to, to looks, when it comes to other things, they, I but think do, that, how many men fought like when a man loves a woman. It's like that movie because yeah, it doesn't girl. even matter. So I don't know why I decided <laughs> yeah. to say yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. Though with a woman at the end of the day, does it also matter? Exactly yeah. because you know we be loving the most ratchet it's men just, of all. It's a, so. it's a situation by situation kind of a thing. Well, you no, know? because the heart wants what it wants. Yeah. Shout out Selena Gomez. And I think that you should. <laughs> Is have that a Selena Gomez thing? Heart it's a song. Wants what it wants. Oh, it sure does about Justin Bieber. Yeah. Also, we all have ADD on the show. Sorry yeah, about it. Yeah, we do. I know, but it's, com- it's, you know, it's just whatever. It's why you love us, I think. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I think, I, I think it's important to have uh, standards. You know, yes. you want someone who has similar goals and similar values and you want the same things. I agree. But it's not okay to have a specific, you know, down to the thing that if right. one things go like one thing goes wrong, it's right. like the whole Jenga tower falls over. Yeah, right. That's not how and it that's works. not healthy. Yeah. It's almost like if you have a new car and you get a scratch on it, do you get rid of the car exactly. kind of thing? You can always make adjustments, but you should never compromise your standards. Yes. So Boom, baby. But I also think too that he really is just 
just he's crumbling under pressure and the baby's still in her stomach. Like, what are you going to do when the baby comes? I just want to go make him feel better. Well, hopefully he say, won't be, his dad won't die again and his liquor <laughs> license won't get taken away and he won't be meeting his mom for the first time when the baby comes. That's true. That's they're going to they're gonna have to find some fresh drama, right? Oh, no. You should turn it's it getting the hot in here. Yeah, so take up. <laughs> All your clothes? Some, mm. of <laughs> Some of your clothes. I know. Skate, well, We're at work. Later. Next week, yeah. <laughs> take yeah. Off, you could take off your pleather jacket. But this is such. Like, this is also complicated. I hate that it makes me feel like it's my life and that I have to worry about it after. But it's kind of. You're so invested. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of. I kind of love it. Don't Seeing you your it? passion. It's annoying. It's inspiring. <laughs> I literally annoy myself. <laughs> <laughs> I do. But I think this is a lot of women's lives. Like you told, you want the like you want the list. You have the list, and then yeah, that's all. Yeah. I'm single. Ask me why. Uh, <laughs> I'm saying. Uh -oh. well, that, since we're so ADD, I want to just really quick get to some Twitter comments. Okay, okay, go uh, ahead. Parallel Choices says she really wants Raph and Jane to work it out. I think they, they will, but they're not digging deeper into those underlying issues. They mm -hmm. will. Uh, also, Parallel Choices always has, drops the good ones. She yeah, does. go ahead, Parallel. Um, um, let's see. Demota77 says, I don't know if it's he or she, I read a spoiler that oh, no. mentioned Jane no. will try to help Raphael with his issues by going to a therapist. Oh, oh he great. Needs, he needs that. Yeah. Um, I hope it helps their relationship. Let's see. Um, what else? <laughs> nah. Why are you guys laughing? You know something, right? What? Damn it. No, we don't uh -oh. know anything. Okay. Are you sure? You're the uh, laugh that the, the eye contact said otherwise. Okay. Shanice, <laughs> Shanice says that he thinks the baby's a boy. No. Because there's been so many references to girls and that it's expected to be a girl that they are most likely going to pull out the rug from under mm. us. Oh. That would be cute. A little rough. That yeah. would be cute. And Mems says, I love that Rogelio and Michael have a bromance, but I wish that Rogelio would extend that same thing to Raph. It's coming. Yes. And, and not the way that you there's gonna to. be a whole like episode centered around the love the triangle <laughs> of Raph, Michael, and Ro is it Rohanio? Rohanio. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna be so torn. Hey, <laughs> that really true. that really would happen though. Oh, because yeah. it's that important. It yeah. would be he would be so upset about it. Yeah. And Rogelio's just he's also like equally invested. I love how much he's grown to be a part of this family and I the fact too. that he dropped the L bomb to Siomara finally. I, you know, good for him. Oh, we didn't even and talk typical about that. woman. What happens when we get sad? Oh, attention. Wait, yes. let's talk about the bar. I know, Marco. That's Marco. Marco. Okay. <laughs> I, there, I, I, said, I brought it up. Okay, let's talk about it. <laughs> she served it to you. I no, served go it. There go you ahead. Go. Keep going. No, go. No, that was, I literally, I served it. Go ahead. Talk about well, it. Well, so, so Zoe gets mad. Yeah. We you know, for attention. Yeah, yeah, didn't so she stand wants, up for her. She goes to the bar by herself. Drinking. Looking it's for never trouble. good. Never a good idea. Yeah. Runs into Marco. Always a good idea. One thing leads to the next. And they have a kid. Well, how about this? You know what? Women, th that's... The only reason why I'm worried is because for, I feel like, a lot Ooh. of guys, like, when, when guys make the mistake, it's like, oh, okay, but he's a guy. But when a female mm. makes a mistake, oh, oh what? don't you ever talk to me or even look my way what? for the rest of your life. I'm afraid that Rogelio will be that way. You if, think? If I did not know about way, this double like, standard. Or he'll be... That is shocking. Shocker. Exactly. It's got to be bad either <laughs> I way. I hate the understanding. <laughs> What? I hate sarcasm. <laughs> you hate sarcasm? Yeah, because I'm like, is she being serious or not? Oh my god! <laughs> no, I'm being totally serious. I did not know. I would. Oh man, I think you'd be equally upset either way. Like guys being guys. No, like you have the capacity to make choices, and you're a grown person. Like take responsibility for your actions. They believe that it's harder for women to to cheat or to do something like that because we're more emotionally invested. Whereas for a guy, he's th he's using his his I think hmm. I disagree. Well, I think we think I, differently. I've literally but been told that though by guys. That's why I'm. I think guys that. use that as an excuse because I know men who are more emotionally intelligent that mm. than that. Well, I, I think they like to play dumb, like right. they don't know exactly because it works right. in their favor. It totally works in their favor. I think in the situation, if or Rogelio ever does find does. out yeah. that he will be forgiving to the situation, because I feel like. He ought to know that he was not clear. Whoa! Yeah. yeah. Hey. Yeah. No. I, I. So wait a minute. Did did he then also express that he wants to get married? 
I think that's coming. He, he because he did talk about the eggs. Yeah. Saying we could always get new eggs. Yeah. Get new eggs. So does that mean he wants to get married? I think it's coming. They just didn't want to give us that information just yet. Because I was expecting him to like, get on one knee. And Do you think ring. finale that could happen? Maybe. That would be a good finale. I see them just being together. Like Kurt mm-hmm. Russell and Goldie Hawn. Just never getting married. <laughs> How great are they, <laughs> by the way? So like, totally off topic, topic, but hot damn. Yeah. They're a Since great Since Overboard? Couple. I saw her at the airport last week. Did you? Yeah. How she look? Beautiful. We should pull it up on YouTube. Um, yeah, I think she's beautiful. Her daughter's beautiful, too. They have a really great fitness line. She does. Yeah. Fabletics? Yeah, Fabletics. It's pretty awesome. It's like uh, Lululemon, but not really. <laughs> and it's cheaper. And back to Jane. Yeah, Bernard. I was trying okay, so hard. I was like, I wanted to comment. <laughs> on this segment brought to you by <laughs> Lululemon. That's not just really. Kamada's legs. <laughs> Oh yeah, right. Nice. Oh man, she does have really nice legs. Mm-hmm. She is fit. She's very fit. She makes okay, you want to work out? I know she does. In athletics. Yeah. Anyway, mm-hmm. Jane looks cute, pregnant. Okay, so mm-hmm. I cannot believe that. What? Like, oh my goodness! Yeah. Holy. Smokes. We have ADD. Three women with ADD. It's not a good. Thing. It's usually kind so of good. related. Kind of, sort ish. of. Yeah. It's ish. the banter. What we Everyone okay. likes the banter. We have to talk Let's quick. Let's I agree. I think it's miss? all been enjoyable. I yeah. so do. Thank we, you. We still need to talk about Petra and Petra Roman. And Petra Roman. and Roman. So okay. Aaron. So homegirl shouted that out in February. She was right. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm really scared for Petra though because I think that regardless of her being choked out, I feel like she really did fall for Roman. No? <laughs> she say like choked out. She That's did. Remember hysterical. she hella got choked what out. What if? Uh oh. They fall Michael in love again. Goes to save Petra and then they start. they get together. I think, you know what? Michael, I've been thinking that. I've been thinking what? that. Michael and Petra. No. Yes, because they have so like, many no. secrets. They have so many secrets. They're lovers. No, Got they're together. not. Because she, he, like. He took the evidence away mm. and like saved her butt, and like they have all these different secrets together. Then they're gonna understand him. And like, like all their business together. is in the hotel. Mm. Healing hotel together. Healing no, together. no, no, no. This is all. This is all too much. <laughs> it's probably already planned. It's probably gonna happen. <laughs> but <laughs> they're so different. They exactly. come from different oh, opposites. Exactly. Opposites attract. I love a quiet man. Is Michael a quiet man? No. no, I'm just saying, like, that's, I'm not, I'm loud. I am the loudest mother effer you've ever met, but, like, that's what I'm attracted to. I'm attracted to someone who's more composed. I like them as a couple. I like a balance. It's I'm like, down. put me in check. You, wait. Same kind of situation. But she's so I'm serious, and he's so fun. Maybe he'll, like, no, light her up a little bit. And then yeah. she'll yeah. to America, yeah, she'll Rush, and Patra. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Wait, wait, team, that, wait. what would their, One what more would their celebrity Andy, name be? Did you, oh, did you not get that? I didn't I get that. to America, Rush, Rush and Patra. Okay. <laughs> I, <know that. laughs> I got you on the hook. That sounds like a really bad 80s Hey, hit that's song. what's going to happen. I'm good at making them. Okay. Mike is going to be silly. Petra's going to laugh, and she's like, <laughs> That's what she's gonna this do. is what laughter feels like. <laughs> <laughs> Am I happy right now? Is this whole? I think it's gonna be more like this. I think that he's gonna save her. Oh, by the way, we're and- in predictions right now. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, we're and, okay. and like I'm they'll be in this weird position where he's like taking duct tape off of her face or something, <laughs> or like <laughs> there's like something on her neck, and like he's like stuck there kind of for like an awkwardly long time, and, and then, then they, they kiss. Look at each other. Yeah, <laughs> and they almost kiss, but then they look away. Oh, and no. then they don't hook up for like two more episodes. Mm. But they had that moment. That's a great prediction. So. <laughs> Especially if it's duct tape. You went there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she might be duct tape because of Roman. That was yes. 100% possible. Mm. So wait, we need to talk about though, why Why is Roman Roman? Yes. What is he why trying to do? Why did he have do? his brother killed? What's on that USB? What? Why is he now kidnapping Petra? Yeah, we some money. There. I some would. Food. I would definitely Where are they say going? maybe it's because we haven't seen Sinrostra. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe they have some kind of connection because it's a money thing. Yeah, you're right. Well, we've it's always, always about we've money we've and power. Isn't there? Money and power and sex. We've always known money, no problem. Money and power. Sex boils down to, to power. Sex. Power. If it's not, sex. if it's not love, y'all okay. are just dropping words right now. Sex, like, power, power, like anchor man. We're like, love. I love, I love, love. Like, like carpet, <laughs> yellow shoes, alcohol, <laughs> oh, diet coke. <laughs> what are we saying? Okay, but for realsies. Okay, for realsies. Where are they going? And we've, I feel like we've always known that there's something to do with Sin Rostro. 
But she hasn't what? been around. And I know that, but but for why he like died and 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 we have not seen him because they were the watching Sad. She is, and but now she, she's blonde. Now she's blonde or something. Ish. She was lost and then found. Yes. Well, not yet. Was but blind she and then yeah. she sees. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe she sees and now she's blind to the back. No. No. And then she's how I is know she gonna amazing run grace. Her? I know that. I know it's amazing grace. I'm just reversing it. Thank you. No, but how is she gonna run her whole like criminal cartel thing blind? Is she gonna have I don't know. Okay, it's a telenovela, we'll figure it's, it out. And so, that's the greatest she'll, part. Have you seen PLL? Her. PLL, so she has good. surgery. You can fix those things now. Oh, that's true. Mm, that's amazing. Pretty Little Liars reference. Yeah. yeah okay. I had she no idea what got that her was. sight back. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Anything. <laughs> so spoiler that's alert. what's so good about the so show. Upset. We can okay, make a prediction, she, and it's just off. It just doesn't matter. Because totally Jane the Virgin matter. is the boss, and they're gonna do what they want to do. Yep. This is true. Yep. Okay. If you are watching, please tell us what your predictions are. If you're please. on iTunes downloading this, give us five stars. If you don't think we deserve five stars, tell us privately why you don't think we do. So <laughs> now we can fix it, and then yeah. you can give us five stars. We 100 percent deserve YouTube, five stars. Totally, and also a thumbs up on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yes. And whatever we didn't mention on the show, feel free to discuss it on the discussion board so that yes. we can continue this talk. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm sure we forgot something. I'm sure we did. It's okay. There's so much to talk about. Yeah, there is I a know. lot to talk so about. Much. So, Rachel, are we going to see you on another episode? Um, yes, you are. Okay. Yes. Are you going to come back and hang out with us? Please. I would love to. Okay. You guys are really fun. Like, fuck these bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I they're was not crazy. thinking that. Just Man, they have ADD. How dare you project that onto me? <laughs> I love it. So social media. Since feelings really are good. hurt. You don't want to hurt your feelings. We we're we're ending on a high note. This Please. has been great. Okay. Good. So are you like an Instagrammers? Mm. Am I an Instagrammer? What, what, yeah. what do you have on social media? <laughs> I love instant grammar. Um, yeah, I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. Twitter. Okay. That's it. So You're not part of that Snapchat life? Snapchat? Snapchat? I know, Perio? it's kind of whack, it's weird. I Periscope, mean, I, no. Oh, Periscope, really. okay. Yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> that, I think Giselle is trying to do one right now. I was trying to yeah, do a Snapchat work. earlier when we were, like, ridiculously off topic, and then... Tennis, Tennessee was, Hale just sent me a Snapchat. Hey, Tennessee Hale! She's got this, like... Oh, uh, t- I love you, Allie. She's from Australia, guys. She's so she sweet. Is. Her name she's is Tennessee? Tennessee? No, but no, she, that, she's that's just... her name. She lives with Tennessee Hale, that's why. Her name's Allie, yeah. Okay, so I think we're closing out. Giselle, where's your social media handle? Find me at Giselle Ugardi on Twitter and uh, Instagram (laughs) and Snapchat. No inappropriate pictures, please. (laughs) On Snapchat. Last week. You don't have to ask. That is a shame. You have to ask. It's really sad. I would also request no appropriate photos. (laughs) On Twitter at Rachel DePillo. Same with Instagram. Excellent. Excellent. (laughs) It should and be you, written down here. And you all somewhere. can find me on oh, right Twitter here. at Stephanie Georgie on Instagram at the Stephanie Georgie and on Snapchat at Stephanie Georgie and on this Wednesday for the American Idol After Show. <gasps> oh my goodness, that's exciting. Okay, oh and I am on YouTube at One Mad Chase and MadisonChaseFitness.com and on Twitter at Mad Chase, Madison Chase Fit. That's me. Yeah, that's it. We love you guys. Thanks. Thank you so Chase much for watching. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 